Hey there guys, so today we're going to try out how can we perform firmware analysis on Netgear Access Point. This is a uh, Netgear WNAP 320 Access Point. So we can first download the firmware from this website, the Netgear official website. Press download and then today we're going to try out. We're going to perform a firmware analysis on the version 2.0.3. So we can download it first. Okay. Download it and then we unzip it first. Unzip. Okay. So these are all the files. Extract first. Okay. So as you can see, there's a root fs of dot squash fs this file. So we use a bin walk to examine this file first. So as you can see, this is a squash FS file system. This is quite interesting, right? So now we use binwalk to extract it. So it seems like that's the file system for this uh, Netgear access point. Okay, we access the directory that extracted. Squash FS to root. Okay. Okay, as you can see that. It seems that like the access point is running a Linux file system. There's a bin, dev, etc, home. Okay, so now we need to check it out. What are the things that we can exploit from here? We go to the home. There's two user. We go to dub dub dub. And these are all the PHP. So it seems that like all the website, the PHP web pages is stored in this directory. Okay, as you can see, there's a logout, login, PHP. Okay, so we'll try to check out the login PHP first. Okay, so this is a PHP tag for it. As you can see that, okay, in this part, when we enter the username, it will check. Get the par parameter username here when it's equal to admin so we can find that the username is admin over here and then the password will be comparing with this one this string the str string okay this str variable and we can see that this part is the str over here get it from config get from this path and then you pass it to str it should be str1 here right but as you can see that the command part str1 is equal to password so we assume that this is the default configuration the default credential is password so it means password we save it from here first and then we continue to enumerate here okay let's keep the time short so we found that actually there's a vulnerability over here at the board data dub dub php so Check it out. As you can see over here, this line, yeah. Uh, it performed a system command execution over here. It executed this command, the WR MFG data, and then the parameter it get from MAC address. And then another parameter over here is the REG info. So as you can see that everything I enter over here it doesn't perform any sanitization so it won't check what are the things that we entered like if we enter the semicolon those right we can execute another comma right but over here it doesn't check so we, it seems like this part we can perform a system command injection to execute our system commands over here let's try it out so over here we found the vulnerability right we need to build the environment first so how can we build that go back here first okay go the script and then we're gonna use is the firmware analysis toolkit so we're gonna use is the file and then here we need to but before that before we start everything else to build the environment right we need to change our privilege to the sudo first in the sudo the root privilege okay so now we are in the root user right and then 
we need to change the, the ownership of the files okay and then it here the root fs this file we're gonna change the ownership to root okay so now after we set it up right then we use fat with the file So, we enter this one. We use the firmware analysis toolkit to build our environment. Okay, so we need to specify this one. The root fs.squashfs. So now it's building the QMO disk image, setting up the network connection. It's going to take quite a while. So we wait for it to set it up first. Then later on, we're going to try out the vulnerabilities that we found here. First is the credential. When the username, this one is the admin, username is admin, and then the password, it, com it command here. It command here, the part is when it, the password is equal to here, the password, you compare with this one. It seems like this is a default credential. Then later on, we test it out on the system command injection on this part, board data dub dub dot php. See, we can inject the system command in this MAC address and or in the uh, RNG info. Let's check out the shows. Okay, it's still setting up. So let's wait for a while for it to set up the network connection first. This is gonna take quite a while. Okay, so now it seems like everything is set up. So the network interface that this uh firmware the netgear access point firmware is running is on this ip so we check it out we open a new tab okay yes. press enter first okay mm, we let it to run first Takes quite a while. Okay, now done. We enter. And voila, we have successfully set up the net gear access point. So this is the main page. Okay, we need to enter our credential here, right? So we check out the login. So the username is admin. The password, we try to use this one password, the credential for it. Okay, admin. Password. Enter. And voila, it seems like our assumption is correct. This one is the default credential for it. So now we know that this one, the board data www.php, this part we can perform a system command injection, right? So we go to board data.php. Okay, so there's a part. Set up our burp suite first. One 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 one. Okay. So enter like normally we enter the MAC address, then we press submit. Okay, so here. Hmm. What happened right here? Seems like something lagging over here. Never mind. Okay, so now this is the packet that we capture, right? Over here, this one is a MAC address. This one, the part MAC address, and uh, REG info, the parameter. Over here, it seems that we can perform a system command injection on the MAC address part. So we try it out. Since that it doesn't have any sanitization on it, right? We send it to our repeater. And then we perform a normal submission on it. 
So it seems like it takes 159 milliseconds to run it, right? So now, we try to inject our command. We put sleep 5. If this work, the command will make that the system will be sleeping like 5 seconds, right? So the millisecond that we're going to be executed going to be takes quite a while, 5 seconds to run it. So that's it. Uh. Okay, it seems like it, it's delaying right over here. Seems like the comma is injecting over there. Okay, it takes 9000 milliseconds to run it. It seems like our system comma injection. Okay, so we test it out by copying the ETC pass WD to our current directory and we name it as passwd.html see that's it work now ok press go and then we open a new tab for it what did I name it? passwd.html ok passwd.html is not found now my input um, a white space over here and we send it again and voila you see this is the pass WD of the Netgear access point this IoT device so it seems like we found a vulnerability in this uh, in this version the Netgear access point Netgear WNAP 320 access point so that's how we can perform firmware analysis on this uh, access point. So uh, that's all for my video. Thanks guys. Bye bye.